Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to look at IP adapter Face ID. There's a new version released, version 2. I haven't played with version 1, so I'm going to go straight into version 2. So let's start this off. Uh, face ID, IP adapter, apply Face ID. So we've got this, and that's going to go into case sampler. There are case sample there, there are model there. So now I need to get an IP adapter. IP adapter, I need to get a loader. IP adapter model loader. There we go. I'm going to add this to this. Hopefully that's the right one. I think it needs to be a bin. So let's look for version 2 plus version 2. Okay, IP adapter. I need a clip vision, clip vision loader, clip vision loader, there you go, I'm going to connect that up to there, and for clip vision, we need model safe tensors, then we need inside face, inside face loader, we use CUDA, uh, an NVIDIA graphics card, the one I have. If you don't have an NVIDIA, you can use a CPU. I'm not sure what ROCM is. I've never used it before. Okay, so we need an image. Image. Uh, load image. Load an image. Try this one. This one is actually not an image, it's a WebP. And we actually need two images. Image, how can we uh, get two images? Image batch, image, image blend. Okay, ah, it's got two images. So image one, and this goes here. Copy this. Same image, flip, do a flip, image flip, connect this to this, and this to this. So we've got that. And we need a model, and that would be Laura Loader model. Load Laura. Laura load, model on. Let's zoom out a bit. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to stick this to the model. And what we're going to use? We need IP adapter. IP. There's the version two. And I'm going to give it a strength of. 0.65 that should do it blend factor 2 is 50 50 that's fine the one is flipping to the other now we're just going to add a preview to see that it is actually flipping okay so that's our apply ip adapter done now we're going to do case sampler we need um, positive and negative a clip text and code prompt do the same again so one goes to positive one goes to negative um, we need what do we need here we need to load a checkpoint load do we have checkpoint loader checkpoint loader there you go and I'm going to use realistic V51 V80 config name. No, that's the wrong one. Check by Not a simple. There you go. Realistic. 
We've got others you can you can use those but this is the one I know that works for me. So we've got the model, we've got the clip, we're gonna join the clips together to there. That's that one. We need light an image. Latent. Actually an image. There you go. Now I'm gonna change this to 1280. Uh, 720 and that's um, uh, 16 by 9 I believe and chuck that into there there we go and that's that and on this side we need the latent to be decoded so load we need a VAE loader that can be the one that everyone uses. Um, and we need a VAE decode. Okay, so VAE goes there, latent goes there. It's going to be this image. Image goes to, uh, let's do a preview. Preview. Preview image done with these two and for positive we want um, a C solo woman in a garden central work high quality um, police woman Diffuse light, highly detailed, photo of, um, film, photograph, ultra realistic, photo realistic, ultra, ultra photo realistic. Okay, and we got negative. Um, it to work. I doubt we need to try to figure out. Uh, thank you. Um, bad quality. Okay, let's try this. Fingers crossed. I don't know if it's going to work. So that's the preview of that being flipped. Okay, that didn't work. Load only. Okay, so load I'm going to push this on for it to connect this. Okay, let's try it again. Hopefully, it works this time. We can mess about with the details afterwards. So, what do we say? Uh, solo woman in the garden. Well, that looks like a garden. We'll do a preview image. Open that up. Let's, uh, let's open this up. No, it's not going to let me open that up. Uh, actually, what I can do is uh, save image and load that image. Okay. Save image. I'm going to see if this works. Key prompt. Save image. That's another garden. Let's load this anyway. Okay, so my comfy is on drive H. Uh, output. So that's the, the one that saved. Let's load this one up. There you go. That's going to actually, we don't need to save this anymore. Get rid of this. Open image. Does that look like this? Sort of, but it's a bit artificial like. So what we can do is pass this into a face detailer. So before we do that, we're going to upscale it. Add node, comfy roll, 
upscale upscale image image upscale there to there we're gonna do ultra sharp two times one or two four rank yours to eight so let's try this that should just uh, upscale this image once the upscale is finished this is already getting a bit um, messy uh, big so we got that upscaled uh, what resolution is that 2560 by 1440 uh, Standard resolution is 1280 by 720, and that was uh, whatever that was. Okay, so I'm gonna add face detailer. So we've got the upscaled image going into here. The model, where's the model? Um, there's the model. There's the model going there. We've got the clip going there with a VAE going there positive going there um, where did I hide the negative there's the negative no that should be positive uh, negative uh, we need the positive here okay so we need the ultralytics Detector provider, I'm going to put the B box there. So that's that one done. Um, I'm going to do another preview here, preview image, and uh, change these this value to 512. Um, actually, let's do seed everywhere. And we want to change this color seed to input. Seed goes here. We need to change the seed to input as well. Seed to input. Uh, randomize. Start at one and we're going to randomize it. Um, change this to DPA, DP. MPP, free M S D E and Crass. I'm going to do the same in K sampler. Denoise. Uh, we're going to do that to say 0.5. Okay. CFG to free, CFG to free, and let's run this and see what the output looks like. That might have been a bad idea, CFG on that one. Oh, denoise actually, denoise, that should have been one. Let me generate a new, in, a new image. See what it looks like anyway. Yeah, it's gonna give it a better face. So we uh, RG free, and we want the image compare. So we're gonna go from upscale and uh, image here, like that. Keep prompt. I wonder if it's possible to do three images. So we've got that image. We're not saving any images yet. Which is a good thing. Well, if you've got enough space, it doesn't really matter. So that's the upscaled open image. Don't need to be there. Okay, let's zoom in. So we've got the original upscaled and details does it look like this person 
open image. It does not. Actually, it does it. Well, which one do we need to load up? I'll load this one. Is that the same one? That's a different one. Ah, uh, sort of. Okay, so I've got that. Now we can uh, generate lots of different images from that one image, and they all will look fairly similar. So, have I mean, uh, sitting on a bench outside a building? So long, I'm sitting on the bench, I thought I'm building, policewoman. I guess that might be... Let's change this to policewoman. I'm going to see that one first. That is going to face detailer. Let's open this up. You can see the cartoony style that you get then you got this one open image a bit more realistic and uh, we'll check the dif difference they look like judge dread uh, police okay now to make it actual individual we're going to go to where's our uh, latent we change that to 512 and 512 and that should give us one person so we've got face ID taking both images here Taking a face and putting it, sending it to Case Alpha using these details, and that's a pretty good job. And you can get consistent images. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll do something else.